Yeah, so one of the the patterns that I used to set up a ton um, from the baseline when I got stuck at the baseline was, uh, you know, I, I used to slice my backhand a ton. I liked my backhand topspin, but I just, I sliced my backhand a lot. I felt like I could hit it. So anyway, um, my forehand was rough. Like my forehand was the whole reason why I served in volley. I just, I either hit it pancake flat and Mach 5 and I would make, you know, 20% of those, or I would roll it with spin. I couldn't get that ball that Federer gets or, you know, Nadal or those guys got where it was driving and spinning. Um, so uh, the, the my favorite pattern to set up because people would just kind of pick on my backhand because it was a slice, or if they hit to my forehand, I'd roll it just nice and slow, high head, not even heavy, too, just high blooper high. down the line. <laughs> I wish it was high heavy. High, high slow is hilarious. High slow and, against uh, Nadal down the line is not going to work. Not, not maybe not against that. Maybe <laughs> not against that. But I would try to entice them to come uh, cross court to my backhand, and in my backhand, I would try to really hit a a, a pretty driving slice down the line and two things would happen from there either they would go cross court which is going to happen 80 percent of the time and typically they're going to try and find an angle keeping it low and short wide so i'm cheating on that i'm just getting ready to just sprint up there cut off the angle and shove that up the line and just follow that in and so that was kind of the place that I like setting up the most and if they did take that slice back down the line i would uh i would just you know I would either, if, if they didn't hit it good enough, I would just try to go back down the line. I'm just trying to bait them into that forehand cross court so I can shove it down the line and come in. So that was one of my one of my good successful plays. But uh, as forehands got better, that 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 play worked less and less. Okay. And, and do you think? When it sorry, sorry. Go on, Justin. Go on. So when it comes to to patterns, were you big on? So were you big on trying to be tactical in a match in terms of explaining somebody's weakness or you just wanted to play the patterns that you liked as much as you could? Yes, to both. So okay. one of the uh, one, one of the things that just, you know, kind of changed my perspective on playing opponents' weaknesses and this stuff is I remember I was playing a match against Guillermo Coria when he was like four in the world of Miami. I think you guys have probably heard the story. And uh, it was while it was Miami, he was being played at Key Biscayne, which was the USCA headquarters. And I was one of the, the the kids coming up that was supposed to you know be doing well, and so I'm walking around, and you know everybody was so nice and, and giving me their input on how I should tactically play this match. You know, just so nice. I would, they were very nice, and, and I couldn't go ten steps without a, a new take. So on generous. How to play this I think match. I think you had you told us that the better you get, the more coaching you will receive. Absolutely. Like at one stage, I was the best serving volleyer in the world. And uh, I'm getting told by everybody how to serve volley. I, I thought that was mm -hmm. ironic, but it's just the truth. It's it's yeah. and, and I think people come from a good place, and so you just you know you accept it and and uh, and and move on. So I'm getting ready to play Guillermo Coria. I got so overwhelmed with all these uh, all this advice I was getting. I said, forget it. I'm just going to go play my game because my game did not match up well against this guy. I love to come in and attack the backhand, and at this stage, he had the second or third best backhand on tour behind like Hewitt Nagasin. So I, it doesn't look good. And I'm just like, I'm like, forget it. I'm just going to go attack the backhand and I'm going to adjust if I have to. And sure enough, I went out there and he had a bad day with his backhand. And I think I won like four and two, like it was not a close match. And so that's where I think that you start the matches with your strengths. And part of the, the good thing about being a tennis player and, and your responsibility is you got to think on the fly out there. If things aren't working then you need to make little adjustments that are either highlight your strengths better or highlight their weaknesses more. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the clip. The full episode will be in the link down below. Go check it out and check out all of our other episodes in the past. Hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming videos.